So hi guys, today we're going to be trying Lugang Cafe. I haven't heard a lot about this cafe. It's pretty noisy and it seems like the owners are here. We have pretty design, pretty shiny, very busy, very tiny. They have a lot of crew here. The location is actually very big. They have a long ways around the back there. Bright, very, really bright, enticing to eat for me. We have, we're gonna try this. Seems like this is a... Um, the pork, like their first thing on their menu. That thing on the bottom, wheels. Has oil? It's like pork oil, maybe pork oil. Let's try it. They also serve it with um, whatever that is. It's ginger. The spicy onion, spicy beef tendon, beef tendon, um, and they serve it separately with um, kim. kim they have the, they have the, the option of um, adding those vegetables. Prior to they have the service of they're gonna separate it for you. So this is a dish good for two days, eh? I think I can finish this on my own. But if I get hungry, I'll just get another one. Sorry about that. It's fine. Let's focus. There you go. <laughs> dim sum is always good with noodles. I think you just bite noodles and put dim sum. One of the things that I like about this is actually it tastes great. Um, the portion of pork is small but it's very tasteful. You would have a broth like mixture inside uh, like what I said a while ago it has like um, it goes like this yeah. and it's like a soup when you when you eat it and then um, it's it's very uh, tasteful it's very 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 tasteful so I think it's worth a try you should definitely try it maybe we'll try the other dim sums later if, if I don't get it. yeah so she likes this a lot Eating here at Lugan Cafe. We tried their dessert, which is like a mango ice cream combination. It's like mango um, ice cream, vanilla ice cream, and uh, like mango pudding. Maybe it had mango pudding, but the texture was different. So apparently, the mango that they have wasn't that sweet. Not their fault, really, because mangoes are really difficult to manage in terms of they have a varied taste, even if it came from the same tree. Firstly, if you ask me, I didn't really like the noodle soup. I'm a, I'm a fan of noodles, but not this one. Um, I don't really like the type of noodle, which is a flat or big noodle. Um, I would not try it again. Um, for the dumpling, yeah, it's worth it. I think it's a good try, uh, but not something I would return for. Um, generally, the overall experience here was good for me in terms of service. Um, they have a lot of crew. Um, I think the manager was also like very attentive to everybody else, and and it's still noisy. I, I really don't like the noise. Um, uh, yeah. What else? So the 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 show ban how is good. I don't know what that's called, uh, but that thing is good. Um, for the noodle, I would not try it. Uh, the tender, no, I wouldn't try it again. Maybe it's because Chinese food isn't my thing, or maybe it's because I'm looking for something really heavy and meaty today. Um, I don't like the place. Too busy. Too busy. Exciting. Um, Maybe I think that's more of me. Um, and then, well, she like it. Um, it's more of like um, I look pretty eating here. Than I'm, I'm getting gonna get full. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go here again if, if I, I didn't have any business. 
It's worth a try. I think it's exciting to try the Shaoban chocolate ones. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe the chocolate ones would be good to try. But in any event, I'll, I'll take that. Okay, one more thing with the dessert though. Um, I did see the ice chunks on the dessert wasn't that um, there were ice chunks that weren't really crushed that well. But all in all, like it's good. I'll try something else. You know? I'm I'm more of a person who tries a lot of different stuff, so I'll probably try I'll probably try something else next time. Not not come here, you know. We're back here at Bukan Cafe. I said I was not gonna go back here, but it seems like somebody can somebody convinced me to eat here again. We never had a chance to get a picture together, so we're gonna do that today. And on top of that, we're gonna try some of their other Xiao Xiao Long Bao. And I'm gonna try the three cup chicken. Okay, so I wasn't really satisfied with the last um, you know, so let's see how it goes today. Um, right now it's an off-peak season. It seems like there's still a lot of people here. I didn't notice this from last time, but the chairs are actually like black and white. They're different, like far different. Um, those are the white ones. They're on the right, and the black ones are here, and they're opposite. Maybe I didn't notice it. Um, um, I don't really like the sharp contrast. Everything here is just plain black and white. I don't see like any gradient colors. Everything is too shiny, too sharp. Well, if that's their design, that's their design. But yeah, let's see. Too industrial, I think. Let's see what happens with the food. So today we're trying the steam uh, crab roll and pork chow long bao. We also got the three cup chicken. I don't know why it's called the three cup chicken. But I think it's the flavors that they use. They use three types. And just a plain rice, just to make sure it doesn't fight with the flavor of the chicken. Okay guys, so after eating the Shaolong Bao, it tastes uh, significantly like their signature pork. This one we got the uh, crab and pork, so it just tastes the same. Um, I, I noticed that it gets cold really quickly and you would see the oils form up real quickly so this is best eaten while it's still hot um, going to the three cup chicken um, I think this is an acquired taste the, the sauce is very good when it's separate and you take it in small quantities um, one thing I didn't like um, is the too much um, ginger and mint leaves so well maybe it's just me because I've developed a liking for mint leaves when they're in Vietnamese uh, food or any other like yeah or Vietnamese food so um, I did like the caramelized sweet sauce that mixed with garlic so I think that's the caramelized garlic which is great for the chicken though I find that um, you have a lot of extra bones that I didn't want to eat really um, so you can see from here that there are bones that I left um, I find it a chore to eat this not much of like a, a dish that I would want to eat when I'm going out you know when I'm going out to eat I want to eat um, very easy food you know um, I think Taste is good. If I wanted mint leaves, like I said, I'd go to Vietnamese. Um, garlic was great, fresh, um, not crushed. Um, I think the garlic was well prepared. The mint leaves stayed cool. Um, the texture of the chicken was something I, I didn't like because it was too spiny. So it felt like I was eating um, fish that was not the bone. So definitely will not go ahead and try that the next time. Um, I'll try something else maybe if I drop by here. Um, and yeah, you have to eat this fast. So that's it for today. Um, all in all, I would give it you know, ambience. So I think this is not a, a restaurant that's actually fit, fit for someone like me. I think the target market is not someone like me. They want 
someone with, who likes a lot of sharp contrast with the design, a bit noisy, a bit busy. Um, designs are like simple and square. Square. Except for those. I don't know, I don't get that. Maybe they were just trying to... I've seen that happen. They're, they're trying to make circles with uh, more space. But, yeah, food-wise today, I think um, just good. I think I've had better with that, this price, but, you know, uh, for the ambience, maybe somebody is willing to pay for that. Hmm. Um, so today, five word with um, someone I'm with today. I would not enjoy it as much. Yeah.